everyone out there in YouTube land, I'm Descent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Sense, for another face mask review. So we're going to be continuing in our line of the Bolero facial masks. Uh, we have four more to go. Now, I know if you've watched my previous videos and I've made this correction, I thought there was only seven masks in the series, but I made an error and... I forgot the coconut, which I just found recently. So there are eight masks and I've already done four. So I'm already halfway through the series and I have four more to go. So got my towel. This time I'm going to be cleansing my face instead of with the Freeman Micellar face mask primer. I'm going to be trying the Biore charcoal uh, charcoal cleansing micellar water so I have my cotton rounds here and then we're going to choose a mask at random and you guys will already know because you've seen the title of this video but I will not know until I pick one this just smells like cosmetics So I'm going to cleanse my face with the micellar water. Oh, there's a lot of dirt coming off. Yikes. Look at that. I think there's more dirt coming off my face. And I wash my face with the CeraVe uh, facial cleanser. Facial foaming wash or whatever it is. But I guess this, uh, well, the Biore, to be fair, already starts off black because it's charcoal. So maybe it's because it's charcoal. It looks like there's more dirt than there is. But we're going to get all of the pores clean and fabulous. It's very refreshing. Clean and fabulous for another face mask review. You guys know how much I love putting slimy Bolero face masks on. But I definitely want to get through all of the eight that are in this series. Because everybody's been buying the masks. And a lot of people buy Dollar Tree products. But nobody's testing them. Nobody's trying them out and letting you guys know what's going on. So, yeah, uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm like this color, depending on when you're watching this video, um, can't see what on my glasses. I got sunburnt over the weekend. So I'm still sunburnt at the time of this filming. So let's see. What do we have left to choose from? We got the coconut, the lotus flower, strawberry seed, and blueberry. Now I can tell you uh, guys from my previous videos that whatever scent it's supposed to smell like is not gonna smell like it. So I'm going to shuffle the masks. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I'm gonna throw them and then I'm going to pick a mask. I picked one. Damn it, I've been wanting to do the blueberry, the the blue. Now I have three left: the blueberry, coconut, and strawberry. I picked the lotus flower. So this is lotus flower with ginseng oil control. Helps control oily skin while nourishing skin's complexion with a dose of vitamins. This definitely has a pretty packaging. I don't know what a lotus flower smells like. Do you guys? So we're gonna massage the essence. We're going to massage the essence and then we're going to put this slimy face mask on my face for three to five minutes. So this is supposed to be oil control. Let's see. Again, it smells like nothing. It smells like every single other, uh, Bolero mask that I've tried. I don't know how how much essence is going to be on this mask, 
If you guys remember from the geranium one, it was a lot of essence. So let's take out this face mask and let's see. Oh. Okay. Slimy, slimy. Wow, that Biore uh, cleansing really left my skin feeling clean. Like, I really feel like I, I deep down cleaned my pores. Okay. I'm getting better at unfolding these masks. At least I think I'm getting better at it. Okay. I'm getting used to the sliminess, I think. Uh, let's see here. Where's that? The fa Here it is. It's upside down. Um, yikes. The more I try to unfold it, the more it gets stuck to itself. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get ready to put on this Jason mask. Okay. Ooh, you. Trying to keep it away from my eyes. And then I gotta take this nose part down. see what I'm doing. Oh, that's terrifying. There we go. Okay. I didn't read the instructions. To you guys but if you've been watching my series you know the instructions uh cleanse face with warm water apply face apply face apply mask evenly across face gently smoothing mask to ensure good coverage on skin for three to five minutes gently wash mask from face uh, wipe off any residue with a damp cloth your skin will feel more moist and smooth after using so i'm going to come back in three to five minutes and we're gonna see how, how well this lotus flower with ginseng did to, uh, for oil control. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, guys. I know I look like I've been in a terrible accident. Um, yeah, so this mask has been on my face for about 10 minutes. Um, let's see if it's controlled the oily skin while nourishing my complexion with a dose of vitamins. So we're gonna peel this off. Ugh. Okay, and then we're going to remove the excess with a damp cloth. I don't think I have oily skin. I think I, I think my skin is seasonal. I think it's maybe oily sometimes and not oily. Maybe I have, what do they call that? When it's sometimes oily and sometimes dry. Combination skin. Maybe I have combination skin. Okay, so I'm wiping off the excess with the damp. It sounds like I'm saying with a damp cloth, with a damp Damp cloth. Damp. Okay. I'll tell you, it's better to do these face mask reviews in the the summer because uh, it's cooling, you know. I feel like I got a hair. Okay. Mm. 
I'm gonna pat this dry and I have to say, all these Bolero masks that I've done, and thankfully all the masks that I have done, I've not gotten an allergic reaction, knock on plastic, not gotten an allergic reaction yet. Wow, that is refreshing. Well, I have to say, as with all wet face masks, it does leave my skin feeling moist. That is very smooth. It's just like a baby's butt. Oh, it's very smooth. It's very smooth. It's very refreshed. It's very hydrated. My skin does not feel oily. Not that it felt oily before I did this, but let's see. Did it nourish my skin with vitamins? I don't know. Do I feel more nourished? It's nice. I'm telling you, it, I will all of these masks. And I have to say, in comparison to the other masks, it wasn't overly slimy. It was just about as slimy. It wasn't like super saturated like that geranium mask. It stayed on my face properly. It wasn't all sliding around. And um, yeah, it feels, my skin feels really nice. So if you have oily skin, and you want to try out this mask, I would say try it out. I give it a thumbs up for the Lotus Flower with Ginseng from Valero of Beverly Hills, which we all know is not made in Beverly Hills. So it is distributed in Sarasota, Florida and designed, it's designed and formulated in the United States and made in China and distributed in Florida. So, why they call it Bolero of Beverly Hills, I don't know. Anyway, that is going to conclude this mask review. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense, and I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.